Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to our English lesson. En esta lección tenemos dos objetivos. Distinguir entre las palabras que empiezan con WH para hacer preguntas. Usar las palabras con WH correctamente en la formulación de preguntas. Palabras con WH para hacer preguntas es nuestro contenido conceptuales. Las palabras who, what, where, when, why. El profesor de inglés va a explicar un proyecto, un proyecto que ustedes pueden hacer. Ahora, empezamos con la lección. Let's begin the lesson. WH words. There are five in English that we use. The first one is who, quien. And we use this word who for people when we want to talk about people. Then we have what, que, or a veces en español, cual. What we use for things. Where, donde, we use for places. When, cuando, we use for time. And why, por qué, we use for reasons. So, let's look at some examples of WH words in sentences. Who is the president of Honduras? We're looking for the president, a person. So we say, who? And who comes at the beginning of the sentence. What are the colors on the Honduran flag? Colors, we're looking for information, a fact, a thing. So we use what? Where is the new mall? Where? We're looking for a direction. So we say where? And then, when do Montagua and Olympia play again? Cuando? Tiempo? Time? We're looking for when. Why do the students love days off? Why? Por qué? When we form questions, we need to note something. The WH word comes first, and many times a verb comes right after it, second. So, very often you will find a WH word and another verb side by side. Now, let's let you practice. Which WH word should go at the front of the sentences? First, let's review. Who, what, where, when, why. Ahora. Now, let's fill in the sentences with one of these words. Number one, the word is your birthday. Now look at what the information. We're looking for a uh, time, the month, the day. So which word do we use for time? You should say when. When is your birthday? Number two is your name. Name, we're looking for a thing, a fact. So you should say what is your name? Number three, is your teacher? We're looking for the identity of a person. So we say, who is your teacher? Number four, are you crying? The reason. We say, why are you crying? And number five, do you live? We're looking for a place, a location. So we say, where? Do you live? Now, you have the chance to ask the questions. Here is the answer. You form the question. Use WH words. There are clues, clue is pista. There are clues in italics, in the slanted letters. For example, the capital of Honduras is in Tegucigalpa. In Tegucigalpa is the clue. What would we Form, which word would we choose to ask the question? Where is the capital of Honduras? Where? Number two, there are no classes today because it is a holiday. Because is the clue. It's reason. It's the why. Why are there no classes today? Number three, my hero is my dad. Hero is the clue. Uh, we're looking for a person. 
So we say, who is your hero? Number four, I was born 15 years ago. 15 years ago is time, the clue. When were you born? Number five, my favorite sport is soccer. Favorite sport, a thing, a fact. What is your favorite sport? Hemos alcanzado nuestros objetivos. Distinguir entre las palabras que empiezan con WH y hacen preguntas. Usar las palabras con WH correctamente en preguntas. Palabras con WH que hacen preguntas es nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you. Thank you.